Hi, this is Rob. How to do exponential regression on the TI-84 Plus CE. This is the data we have. First step is to enter the data. Press the Stat button here. We want number one, Edit. So press the one button here. This window pops up. If you have any old data here, like this, go to the top of the column here, cell one, by pressing the up arrow here. Then when the cursor is on the L1, press the clear button here, then press the down arrow button here. The old data is cleared. We will now enter the X data into L1 and the Y data into L2. The first X data is 0. Press the 0 button, then the Enter button. 1, Enter. 2, Enter. 3, enter, 4, enter, 5, enter. To get to the L2 column, press the right arrow button here. Now enter the Y data. The next step is to do a scatter plot graph with this data, but we need to make sure that the points on the TI-84 window are set up correctly so that we can see the whole graph. Press the window button here. The x data goes from 0 to 5, so we'll set up the x minimum at negative 1 and the x max at 6. Put the cursor right on the digit that you want to delete and press the delete button here. Since the x data are single digits, Set the X scale to 1. This is already set to 1. The Y data goes from 3 to 95, so I'll set the Y mem to 0 and the Y max to 100. And we will set the Y scale by 5. Depending on how the scatter plot looks when you graph it, you may have to adjust the X scale and the Y scale. Now press the Y equals button here. We're checking to see if we have any old data here at Y1. If you had any previous data here, you need to clear it out. Now go to the stat plot by pressing the second button here and then the Y equals button here. This window pops up. The plot one says off. We need to set up the plot one features. Press the enter button. This window pops up. Press the enter button to highlight the on here. We want the scatter plot here. It is already highlighted. We want X list to be L1 and Y list to be L2. And it is. The mark is the type of mark on the graph. This mark is OK. The color blue for the graph is OK. Next, press the graph button here. This is our scatter plot graph. If you press the trace button here, the coordinates of each point will show below. You can move to the next point by pressing the right arrow button. This is the way to check that you have the right data and the data was entered correctly on the L1 and L2 list. We are almost ready to perform the regression, but to make sure that the R square is provided, we want to make sure that the diagnostics is turned on. Go to the catalog by pressing the second button, then the zero button. This window pops up. Scroll down to the D's with the down arrow and find diagnostic on. Here it is. Press enter and press enter again. Diagnostic is on. Now let's perform the regression. Press the stat button here. Move to the right to calc. Scroll down and look for exponential regression. Here it is at zero. EXPREG. Press enter. This window pops up. X list is L1 and Y list is L2. That is good. Go down to here, store regression equation. We want to store the regression equation into Y1. So press the VARS button here. This window pops up. Right arrow to Y VARS. We want number one function. So press the one button. This window pops up. Y1 is already highlighted. Press enter to select Y1. This window pops up. Now go down and highlight calculate and press enter. 
This window pops up with the information you need. Copy down this information. You may need it to answer questions on your homework or test. Now press the graph button here. That line is plotting the regression equation. The equation fits the data very well. If you need to go back to the equation data, press the stat button here, move to the right to calc, scroll down and look for exponential regression. Here it is at zero, EXP, REG, press enter, this window pops up. Go down to here, store regression equation. We want to store the regression equation in Y1. So press the VARS button here, this window pops up. Right arrow to Y VARS. We want number one function. So press the one button. This window pops up. Y1 is already highlighted. Press enter to select Y1. This window pops up. Go down and highlight calculate and press enter. There is the equation data. Okay, that is it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel.